Welcome back to Barrel Brothers. We're actually doing this episode and, and uh, I was looking at the stuff, getting it ready for editing upstairs and I realised it didn't have a start. So um, here we are. What, we're, uh, what the plan is to do today is to uh, check them all to see if they're straight and then start disassembling them once once we've straightened them, it's probably use uh well i definitely know because i've already done it um onto the straightener here to get them sorted out but the really big news is um how do you think the beard's coming on so when i was in my 20s i actually had a beard because i kept getting asked for my id the big question is now that it's two or three years down the track from there. Does this make me look younger or old? I think it's very salt and pepper, as Marv has told me. Gives me an excuse to be salty. Already had the rugged good looks, but yeah, what do you think? Is it a keeper? Comments below. Keep it nice. Like spun them all up and one of the 15s two of the 13s all of the four stud 14s and all of the five stud 14s are bent so time to break out the straightener and make a round barrels anyway lips don't care about they're going to the recyclers so uh let's hook in that's got a lump in it i can see without even the pointer <laughs> it looks like maybe it's got a couple one there and one there there you go two alrighty so once you've got it straight here's the trick see all this stuff get rid of it so if you're um this is the thing if you're doing a few of them and you come back through and it's still got this all stuff written on it pearls of wisdom here folks pearls of wisdom alrighty so yeah get get rid of all this stuff off the best way to get rid of it acetone all right good stuff this it'll get rid of it real quick Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You should wear a mask and eye protection when using it. process of machining off uh, the rest of them.
Elliot's here doing a bit of welding for us. Say hello, Elliot. Hi. <laughs> You're so personable. Got the five stud ones done. Still got a fair few more to do. But yeah, they, they'll be, uh, well, as you can see, the pink on the spoke. So I've got a mate with a with a CNC, so he does all our machining with it for us. Um, we can't fit it in here anyway, so plus I don't really have the money for a giant gen, a CNC machine. But yeah, he'll be doing that, and yeah, we'll get on to the next ones, and away we go. Just like that, they're all done. There's the sizes. Got them? The 13. 13 by 8 minus 14 and 13 by 8.5 minus 22. Dishy. Then we have the five studs, five stud 14s. Those are uh, 14 by 7.5 minus 6 and 14 by 8 minus 14. So yeah, a fair bit of dish on them too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these guys are 14 inch four studs are the same size as the yeah as the little 13 so they're a 14 by 8 minus 14 and a 14 by eight and a half once again pretty dishy uh minus 22 and finally the 15s rarity a oh, rarity 
Those are 15 by 7.5 minus 10 and 15 by 8 minus 17. So what we've got to do now is put them up for sale and by the time you see this, they'll probably be gone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bugger off!